हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू दिस वेबिनार आई एम मेघराज कोटीवाले सब्जेक्ट मैटर एक्सपर्ट इन एन एक्स एट आई गेट इट बाई टाटा टेक्नोलॉजी टूडेज वेबिनार टॉपिक इज अबाउट इंटर पार्ट एक्सप्रेशन मॉडल इन एन एक्स टू थ्री जीरो सिक्स सो इन दिस लेसन वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट एक्सप्रेशन विद इन अ कॉम्पोनेंट एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट इंटर पार्ट एक्सप्रेशन विद इन असेंबली कॉम्पोनेंट and also we will learn how to create conditional statement based on inter part expression and last we will learn how to edit delete and replace existing expressions on first topic creating expression within a component here we will learn about how to create a new expression and creating formula for a parameter based on that expression and next topic is creating inter part expression within the assembly component here we will learn about how to link expression from one component to other component below i have shown some example that is pin dia is equal to piston hole dia minus 1 here pin dia is from one component and piston hole dia is from other component in the assembly and move on to next topic creating conditional statement based on inter part expression here we will learn about how to insert and logical conditional clause that contains if then if else then else into an expression formula this is all just brief introduction about the webinar let's explore how it enhances design efficiency and flexibility so let's dive in as you can see here i have one assembly model with me that is piston and connecting rod assembly that consists of connecting rod connecting cap piston and pin we will going to create inter part expression between piston radius to pin dia and piston radius to connecting dia and later we will learn about how to create a conditional statement based on inter part expression so in order to create inter part expression first i will double click this piston parameter and make it as work part and i will go to part navigator if i double click the sketch here you will see these all expressions are already created based on p0 value so i am going to equate this p0 value to some new expressions for that i will go to tools and expression here i will create new expression that is piston radius and i will give value as 30 click on apply now i am going to equate this p0 to piston radius so i will enter piston here it will display piston radius just click on that and click on apply as you can see here if i change this value to 35 according to that these all values are changing now i will make it as 30 and click okay similarly for the sketch 4 i need to create expression here i have created piston hole with diameter as 15 and you can see here p95 with a dimension of 15 so in order to create piston hole dia i will right click and select edit option and under the drop down of 15 here i will select formula here i will enter again piston radius divided by 2 and click okay and i will close this radial dimension dialog box similarly for p95 i need to create expression i will right click and click on edit and here also i will follow the same procedure 
I will enter here as piston radius into 0 0.5 I will click OK I will close this dialog box for the extrude also I need to create expression for that I will before double clicking this I will close I will go to home and I will finish the sketch if I double click the extrude here the value is 30 so I am going to equate this to piston radius directly just click ok I will close this dialog by clicking ok if I go to tools and expression if I change this to 40 just click on apply click ok as you can see here only piston part is updating but we need to update pin and connecting rod also so for that we need to create inter part expression for that I will go to assembly navigator I will double click the pin and I will open part navigator and here I will double click the sketch here I am going to equate this value to piston radius from the piston component so right click this value and click on edit and here I will select formula in this dialog I am going to create interpart expression new here so I will click on this and here I will choose piston hold dia click ok now I am going to create this as pin dia is equal to piston hold dia minus 0.1 mm So as you can see here the value click down the value will be updated it is showing here 19.9 and you can also observe here below if you if we link the part internally it will display as like this I will click OK to create I will close this dialog box and I will finish this sketch and for extrude also I need to create inter part expression I will double click this this value is showing here is 60 so I will create a formula based on that that is piston radius into 2 times here again I need to link that part with piston radius so I will go to create edit inter part expression and in this dialog box I will choose piston parameter and I will select piston radius and click OK I will make it as piston radius into 2 times now the value is 80 just click OK similarly I need to create expression for connecting rod also so I will double click this and I will go to part navigator here I need to create inter part for this sketch for that I will check where that sketch is available so for that I will go to sketch file here as you can see here these all expressions are created based on connecting dia that is 15 so for this I need to create inter part expression I will right click this and choose edit and here I will go to formula again and here I need to link this part with piston radius for that I will go to create edit inter part expression and again I will select piston parameter and I will choose piston radius and I will write formula as piston radius divided by click on ok I will close this and I will finish this to update the model as you can see here the model has been updated for the piston radius 40 value now I am going to, to create conditional format I will go to part navigator and if I click sketch 1 here connecting shaft dia as 
equal to 28. So I will right click this and select edit and here I will go to formula the expression dialog will appear. Here I am going to create conditional format based on piston radius. For that right click this value and select edit. The edit dialog box will appear. Here I will choose insert a logical condition clause. Just click on that in the conditional builder. Here I will write conditional statement as if the piston radius is less than or equal to 30 then the value would be 28 else if the piston radius is less than or equal to 35 then I am giving value as 30 else I will give 32 click OK now the current value it is showing as 32 because my piston value is 40 now so I will just click OK to create this conditional statement so I will close this dialog box I will finish this sketch and also for connecting cap I am going to equate this part with connecting rod for that I will go to part navigator if I double click the sketch one here it will show P1 as 28 by right clicking this and select edit and here in the formula I will go to create a new expression based on connecting rod for that I will go to create edit interpart expression here I am going to equate that part to connecting rod so recently we have created conditional format I am going to equate that parameter only just click OK as you can see here now P1 is equated to connecting shaft dia just click OK I will close this dialog box and finish I will finish this to update the model if I go to tools and expression if I double click the piston parameter if I change piston radius value to 30 and click on apply according to that these all components will update I will click OK so we will also learn about how to replace expression so for that again I will go to connecting rod I will make it as work part again I will go to expressions here as you can see here P20 is connecting dia into 2.5 times it is showing here I am going to replace connecting dia as piston hold dia so in order to create first I will recall this piston hold dia for that I go to create go to piston parameter and I will select piston hole and I will click OK now I am going to replace that expression just click on that here I will enter connecting dia and I am going to replace this with piston hole dia just choose piston hole dia and below there is a filter type I will select named just click OK As you can see here now it, that P20 value is displayed as piston hold dia into 2.5 times. Just click apply to update the model. I will close this dialog box. Now again I am going to activate piston parameter and I will open expression dialog. Here I will change piston radius to 40 click on apply this is where interpart expression comes into picture when one parameter changes linked expression ensure that dependent components adjust automatically and reduce manual adjustments and errors so this is all about today's webinar 
topic so thank you if you are passionate to learn more mcat software from basic to advanced level then please visit myigetit.com where we are providing self paced learning courses that include autodesk desault system siemens ptc and some of the automotive courses where you can learn gdnt additive manufacturing and also we are providing some of the ev courses as well for these all courses we are providing 7 days free trial so go to i get it subscription plan and purchase your required courses to upskill yourself and to fit for industry